Hey guys, it's your boy, it's one and only, my name is AJ, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City, episode 100, coming in quite fast now, isn't it? It's, it's sneaking up on us. Today I want to start off by showing you something. I remember when I first started the series, or before I started the series, I remember going through the mod packs and choosing what I wanted for the city. And I came across one called Civil Manus Pack, or Manus Civil Pack, and it was, it had one screenshot to it. And the screenshot, it was a car pack, and the car wasn't as good as the cars that we've got, you know, the Lamborghinis and the Dodge Vipers and the Subaru Impressas and stuff like that. The car model itself wasn't that good, so I didn't look at it. Since then, pretty much throughout this series, I've been getting a comment from occasional people, like, like sporadic people, saying, you should install Civil Manus Pack or Manus Civil Pack. Uh, it's a good mod. And I'm like... I remember looking at it. I remember looking at the screenshot and I wasn't that impressed. But then I got sent a screenshot on Twitter of one of the vehicles in it. And I realised that I had made a huge mistake. So first off, we're going to go through the Civil Manus Pack mods. Or Manus Civil Pack. As you can see, there's some, some models that make sense and there's some models that might not make sense. So this, first off, was the car that I saw on the screenshot. And as you can see, it's not, in my opinion, as good as some of the other cars that we've got. I mean, yeah, it, it looks okay. It looks fine. But it's not a specific car. It didn't look like a, a specific model. So I ignored it. However, there are some cool ones, though. Like this one here. I've got a little small tip with some grass blocks <laughs> in the back. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. That's just a really cool look. Of course, they're all drivable. We can jump in here. And we can get moving. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the brakes on these, like I'm, I've been braking pretty much the whole time. The brakes are still bad, like they always are in these packs. Uh, in, in With Flans vehicles, the braking on them is, is terrible, non-existent. But they seem to be maybe a little bit better on this one. We've also got the A-Team van or A-Team style van. <laughs> Fool. Uh, we've got Yellow Tipper. I think this looks great in the construction site. We need to put this in the construction site. I mean, look at it. It's like a like a drivable uh, dumper truck almost, you know what I mean? Or, or, or that sort of style. Looks really, really cool. Uh, a little panel truck, little delivery sort of truck. Notches ice creams there. Looks really cool. I mean, any all, all the delivery lobbies are really cool. Uh, and then we've got some sort of stranger ones. We've got uh, a Boeing. Uh, there are a few planes in this pack. It's a nice big plane. It goes <laughs> into the car park there. Uh, the engines are very, very close to the floor. It's not the, it's not my favourite model in the world. I think the planes that we've, the big planes that we've already got at the airport, are much more rounder, uh, much more high definition sort of uh, vehicles. And then there's another problem with these planes as well. And it's <laughs> one, one is that you can never find where you got to hit this stupid thing. Uh, but two, they actually travel really slow and why, how I mean really slow is I think they travel slower if not the same speed as the car does uh, so they don't have like a fast speed like our planes do up at the airport you know how we can take off on the runway and we need to build up speed well with these ones you move the same speed as a car which see well no it's a lot so, it's a lot slower no it's a lot slower than a car and you can take off no matter how fast you're going and the controls really aren't that good and as you can see I crashed one right here and I can't find the hitbox for it to <laughs> break it at the moment. I will find it. Don't worry. It's not going to stay there forever. But I can't find I can't break it. So it's just stuck there. Uh, but yeah, they're terrible uh, planes to fly. Like, they're, they're unusable planes to fly. I, I, you can't fly them. There's a Learjet as well. These ones, I think, are really cool, though. Uh, these are little race cars. They're a really cool model. And there's a red one, a yellow one, a blue one, a white one, a green one. Or, or, did I say an orange one? And, oh, I placed two down. Hold on. That was a silly mistake. Uh, they're really cool because they're actually fast. Uh, they're all, all far, a lot faster. Like, if I build up some speed here. Uh, there is, like, one panel missing out of the wheels for some reason. As you can see, when the wheels rotate... You can see like a gap in the wheels. I don't know why that is. Uh, but yeah, it's it's controllable at high speed. And the brakes. I'm braking, I'm braking, I'm braking, I'm braking, I'm braking, I'm braking, I'm braking. I'm braking. They're a lot better. I would In any other vehicle, you would not be able to stop in that range. So, it's going to be possible now to build a little F1 racetrack on, on, the, uh, on the world. 
which is going to be really cool. Like, there's a yellow one here as well, look. Yellow one, orange one, blue ones. We can make an entire racetrack. That's going to be cool. I think there's a space for it just beyond the hospital. Really, really cool. Uh, we've also got, uh, where did I get up to? Pink Cadillac. It looks like Homer Simpson's car. I'm not going to bother showing you. A pickup truck. There's a green one. These two are really cool, though. This is the one, this is the model that made me look at this pack. This is a fire engine with a ladder on the top. We can get rid of our retextured one now and put down a proper fire engine. It looks so cool. Let's drive it over to the fire station. It's just, oh, I'm in the passenger seat. What seats can I get in? Is there back? <gasps> you can get in the back seats as well. There's only seats back here. No, but you can get in the back. So that's actually a four-seater vehicle. Some of the vehicles in my other packs are multi-seated. I know all, all the planes are, and you can actually fit in uh, or, or sit in a, a lot of the planes uh, in any seat. But most of the cars, I think, are one-seater. Some of them aren't. As you know, the, I tried to brake and like reverse in, but you know, you know what it's like with these with these vehicles. Okay, nicely, nicely. Uh huh. Stop, stop, you stupid thing. Okay, that makes a huge difference though, right? Don't you think? I think that looks so much better than that. Now, I was happy with our fire trucks. It was what we could do at the time. But I'm really happy with that. And then there's another type as well. They've placed the way that you're facing in this pack. There's another one here with like the ladder on top. So there's two different types. Very, very cool. I very, very uh, love it much so. Uh, police car and ambulance. Uh, police car, I mean, I might use, I think I actually prefer my police cars because they're UK police cars. I mean, I just prefer them. Uh, but these ones are cool because they actually have 3D lights on the top. I don't know if they work, if there's a button to make them work. There's probably some features on some of the cars that I don't know about. It'd be cool if, like, the ladder could extend and stuff like that. I don't think they can. Um, but yeah, it's a cool looking police car. I don't know if I'll use it or not. I'll keep my other one. And then the other one is an ambulance. Obviously, we're going to be replacing our ambulances with these ones because these ones do look really nice. Uh, obviously, an ambulance. They've got a very obvious ambulance sort of logo on them. So, yeah, we'll be putting those down at the hospital. Uh, and now I've got my more powerful computer. Now now we're playing on the, on the Beast PC. Uh, we can actually... Uh, have cars in the world and not worry about it causing lag. It's, it's not going to affect it. Military vehicle. I mean, yeah, military vehicle. Not not all that much of a big deal. Uh, there's a police truck. Cool. Like a police car, but just like a police truck or, or van. One of my favorite ones in the mod is the cement mixer. I mean, that looks so cool for road working sites and construction sites. That is a cool little model. I'm very, very pleased. I wish... That this mod done the same thing as what other mods do, where if you place more than one down, it like changes the color, so it wouldn't be green. You'd get like an orange one and a blue one and stuff like that. You know how it would cycle through different colors randomly. Uh, whatever color these show on the picture is what color they are in this pack. I mean, there's nothing we can really do about that. Uh, these are some cool ones. We've got a SWAT van, a taxi, uh, a bank one, panel truck, and a golf cart. And then the other ones are planes. Uh, but as we, as I've explained, the pl planes aren't aren't that good at all. Uh, taxi, really cool to have around the city, especially up at the airport. 100% uh, they need to go up there. Swap van, I mean, yeah, it's a swap van. Can we sit in the back? Is there back seats? Can we sit in the back? <gasps> you can. You can sit in the back of the swap van. See, that's what's cool about this pack. That is what's cool about uh, this pack. Uh, the bank car uh, or bank van, really, really cool. It's sort of got like the barriers on the front. I can imagine doing some sort of uh, heists with this. I don't know if anything is accessible. No, you can sit in the seat in the back as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be cool. I like that. And a little golf cart as well, just to drive around the city on if you don't have a car. Maybe they could be like the cheap car or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, that's the civil, civil, or man, a civil pack. Uh, thank you so much for suggesting that to me. Um, I know it's been ages that you've been talking about it and trying to get me to download it. Uh, it was my fault. It was my bad. I didn't mean to, uh, like, ignore it. I'm sure that I'd seen it and the screenshot wasn't that great, but there is like 80% like of the vehicles in that pack I will actually be using. Uh, you know, the, the fire trucks and the cement mixers and everything like that, 100% I will be using. But anyway, we've got enough time to 
carry on with our old factory here that we started last episode. It's looking really cool. We've got like a real solid structure to this now. And it's just a matter of sort of building up uh, some more of the walls and working out a little bit of the design, more, more of the design before we actually start cracking on with the, the detailing parts of it. Now, this part is going to have a slanted roof. Oh, let's turn the shaders off. See, the computer runs so smoothly with the shaders on anyway that it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but yeah, so we have the uh, angled roof on here. And then this one is like a small little building uh, that goes onto it. This probably won't be brick. Um, on the original picture that we're using for inspiration, it's not brick. And I sort of uh, like that part uh, not being brick. Uh, for this back part, uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a different window design. They probably have the same window design on the one that we're... Um, looking at but we're going to do it slightly different we're going to have a slightly different one now we don't need any windows in the side there we have no room for it hey rain it's been ages since you've been on the world i haven't seen it rain on this world for ages now so we want uh, the windows we want them the same height but i just want them a different design we might go with square windows on this part instead of the arch ones so we want them four blocks high uh, by three blocks wide it's nice and easy to remember three blocks wide and I think that's four blocks high, right? Yeah, so nice and simple square windows in here. Uh, and we'll sort of space them out quite evenly. I want to have at least that block in between for the courts. It seems to be the sort of pattern that we're trying to stick with throughout this build. So I'll have another window in there. Ooh. And then down here. And I might actually take off two blocks now off here just to match the rest of the building in with the windows. So we'll have these coming back here and draw this one back here because we're going to have this little corner on there. So then this comes this way. Okay, marvellous. I'm going to cut away and I'm going to put uh, these little windows in uh, that we know. Ooh, no, I should have got out one more block. I forgot the... I think we actually had it. I think I actually had it bang on to begin with, didn't I? By the looks of it. Yeah, oh, what a mistake. All right, anyway, so I'm going to put that line back where it should be and uh, down here. Uh, get some more windows in and some stuff that we've done last episode and I don't want to repeat this episode. So then for the rest of this episode, we'll be working on new stuff that we haven't worked out yet. Okay, I should be back. All right, then it might not look like I've done a lot. I sort of cut away here and I've come back here just a moment later. But I've actually done quite a lot of work. I've actually done all the walls around here. I've thought about exactly how we're going to uh, do some more of the windows in this area. And, and stuff like that. So there is a little bit more work than what it looks like has been done. Uh, I want to have something like that in there. I put another uh, small garage door in here. I don't like this. I think maybe even that could be better. That's a cool shape. That's an even cooler shape. That's not as cool. I like that one. So I put another garage in here. Or, or another sort of web trucks can drive in like what we've got at the front because i thought it'd be cool to have a little road that sort of or, or lane that comes out here and down the side of this plot uh plot uh and then join up somewhere here it's definitely got more than enough room and it's sort of just the perfect size to run a vehicle down there isn't it all right so now that we've got that in uh, let's think about the details that we're going to have around these windows. Obviously, we want to have uh, the same sort of quartz design and probably have something similar to this, you know, with the stairs, but just not as crazy. We want something a little bit simpler on these windows. We want the, the, the arched windows to be a little bit more fancy. So we're going to go up here and here. I've got no windows along this wall uh, because of where the lorries are going to be coming in, but I do have a couple of windows here on the end because I thought, eh, why not? So I think what we're going to do on here is we're going to have maybe just some um, windows. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe just the window sills. Maybe just the window sills is all that's needed on these ones. Square windows seem to tend their set uh, seem to um, want to sort of be a little bit more plain. Rounder windows like to have decoration on them, uh, but the square windows I always think look a little bit better when they're uh, a little bit more simple. And then we'll grab these slabs here and I'll put these above the windows. So we're keeping the same uh, the same sort of design throughout the building uh, and using the same blocks. But we're just using the blocks in different ways. Okay, like that. Uh, there's some real easy just fill spots now to do. Like there and there. 
on this front part, that's going to need to come up to the same height as that wall. In this middle, I haven't done that, that extra building on the side here yet. But this is going to lean up to there. This one I bought up to this height. This is a little bit interesting because down here, the windows start four blocks above, like the glass is on the fifth block. So they start four blocks above the ground floor or, you know, the, the surface level. On here, they start at our normal one block above the ground surface which means inside we're gonna have a little step down in this area which I think is pretty cool like uh, both the lorries obviously driving in on the ground floor that's obvious and this will have a little step up I, I think it could work I like having levels inside of buildings uh, and that sort of forces it uh, to happen and another benefit of it is that we keep this three block which is like the minimum uh, amount of blocks that you want between two floors uh, so you can put the floor level actually in the middle and it gives enough room to the ceiling on the floor below and the floor to the ground above. And um, it ends up being perfectly look in line with the bottom of these windows. Perfect for a nice flat roof to be on here. This is a flat roof. That's going to be a, a, a lean to. This is going to be a pitched roof. That's going to be a flat roof. And that's going to be a flat roof. The only thing that we've got really left to do is this sort of little nugget part that comes out that has no real use. Um, I mean, I, I could I can put a window in it, uh, but that's about it. So we'll just fill it in with brick for the moment. Uh, set brick. Nope. Undo. Why don't capitals work? Are they? Is it really that picky? Replace air with brick. I don't want to destroy the sandstone below it, obviously. And there. So now that's all at that height. It doesn't need to be at that height. We could make it go up to that height. Or what I think could be better is to have a middle point. So we have like an extra uh, random height on this one. So it's like in between. So it sort of steps down a little bit. We'll have to bring out down this brick to match it uh, later on. But let's focus on the roof now. I'm going to forget about this little building on the side for the moment. I want to do some more of the. I want to do some of the roof. We're going to start off with a block that obviously that goes around. I want a, a grayish block, a darkish block. That's what they got on the original uh, one, and it looked really nice. I really liked uh, the thought process behind it. I'm going to use cyan wool uh cyan clay so and we're going to run this around the outside as step one so this runs all the way around here doesn't matter if i place like one down the bottom there it's gonna make no difference this has got a huge interior on it as well um or do i give do i give you guys a hint I, i'm going to give you a very small hint that isn't going to mean anything to you but all I'm going to say is I'm going to have to start doing more interiors. That's the only thing that I'm going to say. I'm going to have to start building more interiors. At the moment, a lot of the places actually do have interiors. Um, which is really nice. But a lot of them don't. A lot of them, I can say, well, if all goes to plan, won't have interiors yet. But that's by design. By design... The buildings, mostly houses, won't have interiors. But I need to start doing like the interiors to buildings like like this. Which is going to be really cool. I need to do a little bit more interior on skyscrapers. I know we sort of started working on a little interior on them with like an elevator system. We can stick with that. That's fine. But I need to do a little bit more planning with that. It, 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 it's it's going to be really cool. You guys might hear about it in the next few weeks. But I don't know. May, may or may not. Okay, so now that we've got that in, we want to put another layer of this that goes around here. And this leaves a little grey slit in between the two sandstones. Hey, rain again. I need to turn that off permanently, don't I? See that little grey slit? The grey slit just accents the light blocks, the quartz blocks mostly in the building. Just sets those off. Now, you can't really see them when you're down on the floor. But... I don't know, when you're up on the highway, maybe you can see that it's important to me. So I'm going to do that. So that's got to have this loop all of the way around. And then on top of where the uh, cyan is, on top of the cyan blocks, we're going to have to have some block on top of that. Because obviously I can't put slabs on top because that will be the same height as the slabs that I'm placing down now. 
So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cover the tops of those with some sort of stairs. Now they've done that, they obviously came across the same problem on the original um, factory, whatever this factory is from. Uh, wherever this factory is used for and uh, they put sandstone stairs along and I really like that look however I think that either quartz could look good or better I don't know if it looked better it could look good though but I think that just stone would look better uh, than than the sandstone we've already got a lot of sandstone I don't like having the sandstone slabs and the sandstone stairs next to each other so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stibe I want stone, not stibe, uh, not monster egg one. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these in the corner. And then we're going to put stone bricks instead of sandstone uh, around the side. I don't know how exactly they place the uh, stairs down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run... Uh, that's the wrong way. I'm going to run this way. And I'm going to run this way. And I'm going to meet in the middle. Or... How lucky are we? How lucky are we? Could I do this? I don't know how lucky I am. If we end up... Uh, we want the last one to do the same as what this did and sort of face uh, the stair towards the corner. but uh, Or like the lower part towards the corner. But I don't know how lucky we really are. I know we get lucky all the time. We are like the luckiest people when it comes to building. Uh, but... I don't know. What do I need? That one. Man, it's actually really confusing. No, we we are actually... No, we are lucky. We are. We are bang on perfect. Okay, so it works going that way. See, that looks so cool. Just a, li a little bit of a top on it, I really like. Okay, how lucky are we going in the other direction? Though? Because I don't think this is a square, is it? Did we design this as a square? No. No, we didn't design this as a square. I don't think I've ever done a square building. Maybe we should try that for fun. A lot of opportunities for a lot of symmetrical stuff. How are we getting on on this one though? No, we're not. We're not lucky that way. You know, I don't think that you can tell that well that we're not perfect. But I'm gonna have to. You know, I'm just gonna do it how it is. So let's grab this. Oops. I need to start setting some more waypoints. I haven't set waypoints for ages. And it's taking a little while for me to get across some sections of the world. So I should start certainly start doing that. So this is a really cool way to do uh, this kind of old style ceiling. Oops. Undo. Paste. There we go. And then we just fill up the middle with slabs. Probably these ones, 44.6, they look the best. Uh, so we want to do it on this level right here. Uh, re replace air with 44.6. Now, although this sand <clears throat> the ceiling is on the same height as the sandstone, which is what we were going to, which I said we don't want on top of the uh, cyan blocks, because the stairs give that extra half block lip. It doesn't matter. It looks really nice. Now we can put um, chimneys or, or, or whatever we want on top of that. And it's going to look absolutely smashing. Uh, I think that's pretty much all that I've got time for though this episode. I would have got it finished if we didn't have the vehicles. They're really I love those lobbies too. If we didn't have the vehicles that I was showing you at the beginning. But I really did need to see you. Next episode I think we should just stick here again and finish it off. I want to get the rest of the ceilings done. I can probably do the rest of the flat ceilings off camera. Because you guys know now know the pattern and how we're going to do it. So I can do the rest of those. And then we'll come back to do the peaked ones. That little building. Uh, and maybe a little bit of the interior. But mostly the exterior. The fencing, the roads, the lanes and stuff like that. So I shall see you then guys. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel subscribe, then feel free to subscribe.